Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a time series chart of our connected data with Google Data Studio and filter control buttons and plus time rate selection. As you can see here, we have two branches the MAM branch and Jidda branch. So we will create the filter control button to, to see if we select the, the MAM branch only. So we will be having the data of only the MAM branch. If we select the Jidda branch, so we will be having only the data of Jidda branch in our charts. If and also the time range selection button we will use. If we select like few months, we need the three months report or four months report. If we select this time, so we will see only the data of this time range. So how we will do that? Let's see. First of all, this is the report which we have connected with our Google Data Studio, the Google Sheets. We will click here. We will go to the edit. What we will do, we will create here the time series chart. Add a chart, time series, drag the mouse and here we go. We will create a monthly revenue chart. We need to select here the metrics from the data. We need to select here revenue. This is revenue. You can see here the chart displays the revenue of daily basis instead of monthly basis. On the horizontal axis, the tick is on daily basis. What we need to do is to make it as monthly basis. In order to do so, we need to add a new field in our connected database. The database which we have, which we import from our Google Sheets. Let's see how we can do that. We will go to the resource, okay. Manage added data source. Click on edit. Here you can see, I already added here. So let me remove this and tell you how I have done this. Okay, here we have a date which is on the daily format. And we, what we have to do, we need to click on three dots. We need to make duplicate. So here we go, we have a copy of date. And the type, we need to select the type here, the month and year. Okay, done. Close. The idea is that we have two time fields. The first field is the date format, which is on the daily basis. And which will be understandable for the Google Data Studio to work on it on the time series. And the second field which we have created just now, that is the month format to make the time series chart well designed. And for the reporting purpose, because we are not going to see the daily basis uh, reporting system, we, are, we will check the monthly, monthly data. So click on the chart and here, the date dimension, we need to select here copy of date. When you select here, you can see here, the data is here on monthly basis. Go to view and check July, August, September, October, November, December. Go to edit mode, click on the chart. We will choose the style. Style, here we will see the show points. You can see, we can see the points of the monthly database. And also we can convert it to the bars. So this is our time series chart. Let's see view mood. July, August, September, October. This is the monthly chart. Now we need to create a filter control button. As you know, we have two branches. This is the aggregate data of two branches. So we need to con create a filter button so we can choose one of the branch data. Let's see how we can do. Go to the filter control button, click on it and create here a tab. This is the tab. 
we need to select the dimension branch. Let's see how it is looking like view. If you see here the branch column, branch tab, if you click on it, you can see the mom and Jidda branch. Here also you can see the values of the revenue for both branches. It is not looking nice here. What we need to do, we need to omit this. So let's see how we can do that, add it. Click on the tab and unchoose the show values. Now click on view, tab, the mom and Jidda branch. If you see here, no values here, so it's looking nice. So if you unchoose the mom, you will see the data of only Jidda branch. If you choose the mom and if you unchoose the Jidda, you will see the data of only the mom branch. The next thing, we need to create a time range selection. What we have to do, click on the date range tab and create here a date range. In the data, we need to select the current year date, like if we our data is until February. February 29 and this data will go from suppose July 1st. Okay, apply. You have the data from July to February view. You have this data from July to February. For the both branches, we will see only the mom branch. This is the, the mom branch data and the date range we can change like July we can go back like from 2000 first January 2019 to February 2020 apply you can see here January 2019 to February 2020 so the our time series chart and the filter control button and the time range buttons is working properly cool so we will move to the next lecture to design the report, the design the financial report. What we will have to do, we need to design the charts. This is the revenue chart. We will create here expense chart and net, prof, uh, net profit chart and net profit margin chart here. So for now, this is what we have for today. I hope this is understandable and clear. In our next lecture, we will design this, our report. And inshallah, everything we will cover the financial report, including the balance sheet, cash flow statements. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel. It is very important because all the videos will come to you on time. Thank you very much and goodbye.